cookie press. This is our first time using a cookie press of any sort. So um, here we go. Inside the box, you get the cookie press itself and 12 discs. The discs include a variety of shapes. Some are more easily recognizable than others. Um, this is a holiday set, so we have a Christmas tree, a snowman, a couple of different wreaths, some that could be interpreted as stars or snowflakes, and assorted ornaments. To use the press, we've prepared the cookie recipe on the box which is a basic spritz dough of flour, baking powder, butter, sugar, egg, milk, vanilla extract, and almond extract. After washing and thoroughly drying the cookie press, we filled it with the dough that we had prepared according to the box directions. As you can see, I had a little trouble figuring out how to assemble the press, but once I figured out which end goes in first, it was not difficult to assemble at all. The pieces just screw together, and the even though it's plastic, it is fairly sturdy. I did not worry about it breaking while using it. Um, the tab that you can see under my thumb there, you pull, press on that, and pull on the circular part and that pulls the plunger all the way to the end so you can fill it with dough. I shaped the dough into a log and then I stuffed it into the press. I later learned that for sugary coating on your spritz cookies, you can roll the dough in sugar before putting it into the press which I didn't try this time, but that's on my list for next time. Um, I selected the Christmas tree disc for my first batch. You can't see it, but there is some writing on the disc. That writing faces out. That's how you know which side of the disc to have facing the dough and which side faces your pan. And the disc just screws on to the end. To make the cookies, you press the cookie press directly against the baking sheet, squeeze the trigger, and pull up, which releases the dough. According to the recipe and all of the research we did, it is best to use just plain cookie sheets. Do not line them, do not spray them, um, just use plain aluminum cookie sheets. The cookie press itself is easy to use. Um, I didn't have any trouble forming the Christmas tree shaped cookies. Um, the dough came out of the press and released when I lifted the press from the baking sheet. It's very simple and straightforward. Now I did have about a cookie's worth of dough left on the end of the plunger that just wouldn't squeeze out. I scraped that dough out and added it back to my bowl of cookie dough and mixed it in to the next batch. For the next batch, I decided to try the wreath disc. It proved a little problematic compared to the Christmas tree. Even after getting all of the air pressed out, I had a little trouble getting the dough to release from the press. The first one wasn't so bad, I just pushed it together with my finger, and then the second one didn't come out very well at all. And that was kind of the theme. Um, every third or fourth press, I would get a complete cookie, but I never got a full pan of complete cookies. Next, I tried a star snowflake flower shaped disc. Um, this one worked out pretty well. I had a couple of missing petals on a few cookies, but for the most part, they all pressed really well and complete to the cookie sheet. Overall, 
the Wilton cookie press was really easy to use um, and for the price about ten dollars a little less depending on where you shop it's a it's well worth it for a nice cookie baking experience um, cleanup is rather easy you just wash everything in warm soapy water and then dry with a kitchen towel I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and recipes, please visit us at arkansasonline.com/cooking.